So let's do an example now with CSS. This is probably going to be really important for you when you're using Angular to not only show and hide, but you also want to do color changes. So let's pretend like I have another div here, and I'll just call this um, the ID something, the car. And by default, it has a class, but it doesn't have any uh, class on it at the moment. I've made these two classes here called stop and go. So we're going to use that, but we're also going to use Angular to write a condition for us. Um, so in it here, I'm going to attach class to some model, some data in my controller. I haven't defined it yet, but I'm just going to call this is driving. And right now, is driving is undefined, but if it's true, then I want to change the color to go. And if it's false, I want to change the color to stop. And I also want to put in my car ID a message. Okay. And down here in my controller, I'm going to control again this ID here, this car. Um, and I can control it because I have access to it with this controller. And I'm just going to say that is driving, which lives on our scope for this controller, is false by default. And then I'm going to write a message here scope.message the car is not driving. So if I open this up, you can see that the car is not driving, it has that color red. Now let's change this to true. Now we see the car is not driving, but the car is green now. So let's make this a little bit more dynamic. I'm going to set this back to false. And now I'm going to create a button here. So let's put two buttons, put them in another div. And we'll make this one ng click to map to a function called go. And we'll just write go here. And we'll map this one to a function called stop. And we'll write stop here. Okay, so if I create on my scope those same functions here, because I need to define what those functions are, let's say scope.go is equal to a function. Then let's say So I'm breaking my own code here. Say scope.message is the car is driving. And then of course we have to update to true. Otherwise scope dot stop equals a function. And scope.message will be the car is not driving again. And of course, we have to update our scope is driving. Put it back to false. So let's take a look and see what that gives us now. The car is not driving. We click go, the car is driving. And click stop, the car is not driving. Go stop, go stop. So again, color changes with CSS, pretty simple, but we also got to see something called ng click. So I hope you understand now like how all these directives work um, along with our model view. Um, essentially, just to review here, uh, you want to always first uh, define your app in Angular, then you want to define a place where you're going to control and that usually is an element like a div and then all the elements inside that controller um, 
become part of the scope for that controller. And then you have access to all the models or the data. It's like we have an input of type text, input type of checkbox. We also made our own, um, you know, models down here that are not in the HTML, like is driving and message. But using these template tags, we're able to display the contents of those um, and also use the Boolean values to um, show cool things like the car is driving and the car is not driving and then of course we can use conditions here to change our CSS class on the fly so it's very nice you know with less code I can write more as opposed to having to write all this with jQuery could you imagine and then of course this go and stop they're just mapped automatically to these functions here so hope this gives you a pretty good understanding of how Angular works now